so this bit is about me uh, getting to the train. So, you know, the things I had to do to get to the train. And uh, some of these sequences have um, the audio taken out. It was sort of last minute I got a resale ticket. So I had to negotiate to get certain tickets at certain rates, certain times. So um, these are just pictures of things that I thought were relevant. There's a few of them that I didn't think made it to the cut, but uh, some of them are kind of architectural and may, you might feel they're not really relevant. Um, what I noticed in Montreal is um, there's a good amount of neoclassicism. Um, there's some things, I guess, that are somewhere around Beaux-Arts. Um, also, there's um, a lot of industrial stuff that has been somehow converted into other applications. So last time I was in Montreal, I was originally trying to get to this Clark Cafe, so I uh, tested it out, and uh, it was actually a good place to eat. I got the Italian sandwich, I think it was like fourteen fifty after tax. So I just found this kind of weird kind of, um, I guess, it, Italian decorating kind of choice. That's me. So that's the, my current state of appearance for this trip. This is probably the worst example of redundant add-ons for visual effect, but I did see those sort of ideas here and there. So up at the top of uh, Mont Royal, um, there are some observation areas, and there's also some sort of building there. I don't really know what exactly it does, but here's some pictures of the, the inside of that building. Then there's sort of like um, a high, even higher level, which seems to be a ring, and uh, there's some sort of a cross thing there, and uh, some sort of tra I'm guessing um, a transmission tower and cell phone tower, but probably more like a, uh, a TV transmission tower. And if being... Uh, like a, an actual TV transmission uh, tower, it must be putting out a good amount of RF energy. So I was, you know, not thrilled about walking right beside it, but it is kind of interesting. So on to the main point was the main objective was seeing this uh, Depeche Mode uh, tour. And uh, these days I was coming out to see just a few people who I thought were notable. It is kind of a pain to, to come out from Ottawa to do this. So 
um, you know, uh, it has to be something I really need to see. And there's maybe one or two more that I could potentially do, but I'm hoping it's kind of done now. I try to get away with not staying in hotels. So um, it becomes a problem immediately after these concerts are done, what I'm doing between that and 4 a.m., which I wind up going to the train place. So the concert itself, um, I thought it was good, but um, it suffered from people standing up to sort of do dancing in front of me. And it uh, just for that reason, I don't think I'd, I'd go back just because like you can't really see properly unless everybody stands up. And then I feel like I'm blocking the person behind me. So uh, due to some functional considerations where um, I didn't want to have to go to the bathroom and get by people, um, I didn't start drinking a lot so I wouldn't have to go to the bathroom at the arena. So what I decided to do was to go to this pub afterwards. And then I did have a lot of beers and um, I got kind of lost trying to get to it, but um, I did eventually get to it. It's on Bishop Street. When I was still at the Bell Center, I looked up what are Montreal's like cheapest bars and uh, that became why I went to this place. I thought we were up by the 